guys so today i'm here with this 360 lace wig again from rpghair.com this is the hair i showed you last week the same wig now today remember i didn't um customize the back portion it didn't come customized at all and today I, I decided that i actually want to put it up in a bun and show it off show off the whole 360 vibe going on so what i'm doing right here in this portion of this tutorial is that i'm going to just tweeze it a bit i'm going to pluck it a bit because if you notice the back portion there the hairline is really really bulky really really thick so i'm just trying to thin that out a bit so it doesn't look as bulky when i go ahead and put it on my head because we're going to be pulling this up into a messy top bun yes so that's the vibe i want to go for today nothing too neat at all i really like the whole messy bun vibe so as i go along you're starting to see the lace more and more and that's what i want so yeah if you guys didn't see my wig installation and application my wig customization and application routine i'll link it down below so you guys can go ahead and check that out and the li the details to this wig as well but the hair feels so bomb i had it in for a couple of days so for this video when i decided to put it in the top one i actually went ahead and co-washed it so that's why you see it's wet but i actually prefer to wet the hair before i pluck it because it makes it very manageable and as you can see i'm just cutting away i'm cutting some of those hairs in the back so i can have that little you know fly away action going on and that's how it's looking in my hand which you can see it looks way more realistic and that's what's going to be laying on the back portion of my head now guys I, I pluck out a whole heap of hair now and as you can see it's still a bit bulky but we're going to work with it and see how it looks so yeah so i'm just gonna go ahead and you know apply the wig i have a detailed video on how i you know apply my wig so yeah the hair is on my head i'm going to go ahead and just um like Flip it over, do the same thing to secure it like I show you guys in my installation video and then I'm going to come right back. So guys, basically I'm just securing the lace down with my got to be gel. Um, so that it stays in place and it lays in place. I'm going to try to do the same thing at the back because it's not yet secured. So, yeah. I went ahead and applied a little bit of the got to, to be gel in the back and I'm just pressing it down. I'm gonna go ahead and wrap this scarf around the perimeter of my head, you know, my edges and everything, so you know, everything is secured a little bit better. So, I basically did the same thing to the back that I do to the front, I just try to, you know secure it with a little bit of got to be gel and now is when I'm going to actually proceed. I want to do like a bun that's not too neat. That's my aim. And that's basically my bun, guys. I'm gonna move on to doing my makeup. I 
I'm going to do a tutorial for this look, so I'm going to be right back. You can see I'm done with my makeup, guys. I did a tutorial on how to really make your makeup last all day. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and take off the scarf. This is how it's looking. It's looking pretty natural. I love the way, you know, as I said, I didn't want anything too neat, you know. I just wanted, like, you know, that effortless type of looking type of top bun. I remember when I was tweezing the back portion of the wig and I had cut away, cut off, like, some of the hair. That was because I was trying to, you know, have some flyaways for the back portion here. And that's what you're seeing. So that's what I did. It has a little bit of bulge, which I wish I could really flatten it down a little bit more. It's my first time. It's my first time putting my 360 wig up in a ponytail, so I'm pretty sure that as time goes along, I'll figure out how to get around that a little bit better. But this is how it looks for right now, and I'm pretty comfortable with how it looks. Um, as I said, I just wanted something effortless. I think this would be suitable if I'm going pretty much anywhere and I just don't want hair down in my face. I feel like it would be very convenient for that. I try my best to tweeze the hairline to make it look as natural as possible. But that is pretty much it for this tutorial today, guys. I really hope it helped you guys out and leave your thoughts down below in the comment section. Um, don't forget to give this tutorial a thumb up and let me know what else you'd like for me to do here on my channel. Alright, um, yeah, be sure to list all the details on this wig down below in the description box. And if you're interested in going ahead and purchasing this wig for yourself, um, be sure to use my code JMUE10, alright, which would definitely get you some dollars off, so make use of that. So I'll see you guys in my next upload. Bye! <laughs>